Do you remember Rift? It's okay, I'll give you a moment. Do you remember Rift? Rift is an MMO made by Tryon Worlds. Do you remember Tryon Worlds? Sorry, I'll give you, no, I won't give you a minute. You, you don't need to really know who they are. They love microtransactions, loot boxes, and they love them in their MMOs. That's about all you need to know for right now. What's more important is the thing they just recently did. Before we begin, yes, Rift is a free-to-play game, which means I'm normally quite lenient, or at least comparatively more lenient towards them than I am with paid games that pad themselves out with microtransactions. But a recent Rift patch really puts the are you fucking kidding me in cash grab. Try on Worlds' latest spin on glorified gambling is Orphiel's Mount Crate which, when purchased, will contain one of 42 tradable premium mounts. Will you get an Armoured Nightmare? Will you get a Frosty Budgie? Who knows? It's all random, and you can find out for $99.99. Yes, you heard me correctly. A single purchase of an Orphiel Mount Crate costs a hundred dollars. And if I sound like I keep laughing when I say that, it's because I am laughing because it costs a hundred fucking are you kidding? I mean the Guild Wars 2 loot box thing pissed everybody off. This is just absurd. I think Tryon Welt is just banking on the fact that not many people really give a shit about Rift at all and who can blame them? I mean who can blame the people not? caring about Rift. We can blame Tryon Worlds until the cows come home. Not that the cows will come home because they've all been stuffed into boxes and cost a hundred bucks to free. To put this into greater perspective, and because the math is easy, the total cost of 42 things that you run around on in Rift costs $4,200. 4,200 bucks. Good old Simon Quee over at the Jim Sterling unofficial subreddit points out that you can buy the entire Nintendo Switch's eShop library with that sort of money. And yeah, that library would contain vaccine, but I still think it's a better expenditure than mounts for fucking Rift of all games. I don't know if it's just naked cynicism on the part of Tryon, or if they're just trying to hump this loot box thing while they're still juicing the engine, but ultimately Ultimately, it just comes across as really, really desperate on their part. This looks pitifully desperate. The fact this runs out at the end of the month only compounds it. They've given people a few weeks to keep throwing hundred buck sums at Tryon in a desperate bid to get whatever it is they want. I don't know, fucking nightmare squirrel. There's a nightmare squirrel in the box. I ain't paying a hundred dollars for the chance to get a nightmare squirrel. You want to sell me a nightmare squirrel, then grow a spine and fucking sell one face to face in an honest transaction. I'll give you money for a nightmare squirrel, but sir, I shall not wager for one. And you can shove scraps the necro budgie up your ass as well. I mean, I've been sat here mulling it over and really the only saving grace here, the only saving grace is the fact that it's Rift and therefore who ultimately really gives a shit. Which means this whole thing isn't just desperate, it's fucking sad as well. Not quite as desperate and sad as Two Worlds 2 patching in microtransactions long after the fact. That was a whole new level of pathetic, but this is pretty up there. Or down there, I should say. Down there in the dirt and the muck. Once again, it's amazing to see a game, free to play notwithstanding, still humping this loot box craze while there's a massive controversy going on about loot boxes. It's not like I'm surprised games are still using loot boxes. I've stressed that I don't think they're going away anytime soon. But while sensible companies are treading carefully, trying to work out where the envelope is, how far they can push it, see what they can get away with, and do it incrementally in a way that keeps their head down and authorities' eyes away from them, while most of the industry appears to be pulling back a little bit and reassessing what it's up to, we still have a company like Tryon Worlds coming out and seeing just how far it can fucking push its luck in the most brazen and blatant manner possible. Which speaks to compulsive behaviour and continues to further my belief that the game industry en masse has a gambling problem. And 
And just to hammer it home again, this offer for this Orfiel mount crate, this expires on December 31st, end of the year, about two weeks from now. Because if you're gonna have a $100 loot crate with one of 42 items inside, you might as well be extra sleazy and make it a very brief limited time offer so those few people still invested in your fucking game desperately spend themselves into oblivion getting what they want. Which I guess is you getting what you want. Your sleaze bags?